We're heading to South Milwaukee in our latest 58 hometown visit today. You'll see reports on CBS 58 throughout the day and tonight from the city. Joining us this morning in South Milwaukee, Mayor Jim Shalensky. Good morning to you, Jim. Good morning from the South Milwaukee Yacht Club. Yeah, not a bad view you got there, Jim. So tell us what you love most about South Milwaukee. Oh, South Milwaukee, we have a number of hidden gems, starting with our caring community where many families have stayed here for generations. Our schools recently were awarded the National District of Character, one of the only four districts in the entire country to win this award. With the school district, within the school district, we have the South Milwaukee Performing Arts Center, where there's a 780 seat theater. Our downtown market features great music, food, crafts, produce, and family events once a month. A quarter of our city is parkland, having Grant Park here. Having an 18 hole golf course, a beautiful beach, Oak Leak bike trail, and Seven Bridges hiking trail where you can walk along the two mile trail and join nature, creeks, and Lake Michigan. South Milwaukee has four museums, a historical society, military and sports memorabilia museum, and the Bizarres Museum where Bizarres Crane helped build the Panama Canal. South Milwaukee has many great businesses and diners with many restaurants having outdoor dining. South Milwaukee Yacht Club has over 14 acres with 92 slips and with a clubhouse. We are, have one of the oldest Little League programs in the area and are proud to be hosting the Junior Baseball State Tournament. Other events you don't wanna miss is the annual garden tour that highlights beautiful homes, gardens, which were featured in the Milwaukee Journal and Milwaukee Lifestyle Magazine. And in, in the end of July, we have the Heritage Weeks, which includes a golf outing to benefit the D.A.R.E. program, Veterans Appreciation Day at Both and Bell, spaghetti dinner at the fire department, uh, evening at the market, Lions Fest and a car show, duck races, and to be finished up with a great parade. Mayor, sounds like a lot of great things happening in South oh. Milwaukee. I want to know, what, what, what are you going to do this weekend in South Milwaukee? What are your plans? Uh, just chill it out and relax then. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear that. I hear that. Okay, I got to ask you though, what's like your favorite spot to eat? Go. Eat? Oh, we have many of them. I don't want to pick one. Oh, but we have a good mayor. <laughs> That's a good answer. That's a good answer. That was a test and you passed with flying colors. We're excited to see you out there tonight and thanks for having us. Hello to you, Mike. We have had a beautiful morning in South Milwaukee. Everyone is so welcoming and so proud of their city, and we're glad to be here. And right now, as you mentioned, we're in a building that has a lot of history here with the city. And Ernie Wunsch joining us right now from Skyline Catering, the owner of Skyline Catering. <laughs> Tell us about this, this space and why this is so special to the city. Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me yeah. and showing off our beautiful building. But our building was thought of um, by four different entities that came in. I won't, I know we have a short amount of time, but yeah. they all came together when they saw this abandoned building and thought we could do something wonderful for the community, be a catalyst for the jump start of maybe growth with other businesses. Yeah. And so we thought we'd bring this building back to what it was in 1893 when it was built and also in 1920 when it was a very thriving club for the B. Cyrus Erie Corporation. Yeah. People came here to dine and smoke cigars, play cards, bowl, go up in the gymnasium, watch movies, have parties with the whole um, company. We thought we'd bring that back with a 1920s look and also um, have different event spaces here. You're looking right now in the background of our deli that's open Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. um, 7 until 2. And um, then there's spaces for weddings. Oh, and parties. absolutely. Yeah. Spaces for weddings. We have we do funerals, baby showers, 50th wedding anniversaries. Yeah. Um, you name it. Any reason for what we have a class reunion tomorrow evening. Yeah. I love it. On it's a Wednesday night. Yeah. I think I mentioned because they're, they're all retired and yeah. it's from 1966. And they thought, let's get a better deal on a Wednesday and let's uh, come in on a. It's a beautiful it then, so. space and some of the original yes. architecture is still in place, but you were yes. saying you live in South Milwaukee, your kids are here, yes. you're entrenched in the community, and this is a very proud moment for Absolutely. you. Absolutely, and three of my children work for me and they are a blessing. I love them all and I get to see them every day. Uh -huh. My wife is very instrumental here too. She is um, in the background and she comes here and works also yeah. at times, but she's a very big supporter of what we did here. Right. And all I have to say is the experience has been humbling. I see so many of our local um, South Milwaukee people here that dine with us every day from yeah. Steel Solutions 
too, DB Tax and Wealth across the street, who also invested a lot of money into the community. They, if you see across the street, the, right. the butcher shop guys. I think you're doing a segment We're with Doc. We're going there later. There. Yep. We By the way, Doc is our butcher. Oh, is that right? Yep. Doc okay. Is Everybody's our so proud. Everybody knows each. Is that the yeah. feel of South Milwaukee? Is that what you want people to know about your city? A hundred percent. This is such a welcoming. We're under the radar, but it's such a welcoming place for, yeah. for everybody to, to come together. And we're yeah. all supporting each other. I don't care if you're um, James Moran at the Irish Pub or yeah. like Doc, I said, we're supporting of, uh, he's our butcher. DB Tax are our accountants yeah. and wealth advisors and they hold our 401k stuff. It's all proud. Unbelievable. Yeah, help yeah. supporting each other. The city, the city itself. And I want to mention the museum too. I think you already did yep, a piece I'm on serious. it. We work hand in hand with the museum. We do parties up there yeah. when we have guests down here and they also will come down here when they have it's pretty neat. Special space. We'll have more of the museum tonight at 10 because if you haven't been there, it certainly is a gem in South Milwaukee. Thank you, Ernie, Thank for talking you. with us. We'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. Our 58 Hometowns Tour brings us to South Milwaukee today, and we are stopping by South Milwaukee Sausage and Meats. Doc is one of the owners here. Thanks for letting us stop by. Thank you. It's you, always a pleasure. Yeah, you guys just opened recently, right? Uh, October 2, 2020. 2020. Yeah. All right. And now you are on the corner. Let us know where you are in South uh, Milwaukee. 12th and Milwaukee Avenue, across the street from the Crusher statue. <laughs> and I love that. You said you're a wrestling fan, so the, actually that kind of came into play when you were looking at this location? Absolutely. It was one of the re only reasons I decided to open up here. <laughs> because of the statue. Pay tribute to South Milwaukee with wrestling. Yeah, and you can see him from your front door. Yes, right? absolutely. You, tell us a little bit about what you guys do here. Everything is so fresh. Well, we make, we're home of the South Milwaukee's Polish sausage. That's, okay. that's one of the things we do best here. And we have a long, large line of fresh sausages that we make. We make a ton of frozen items. In order for us to keep so much variety, we have to make it fresh and flash freeze it. Yeah. Go on from there. And specialize in custom cuts and pre-orders. Awesome. So let people know too, you were kind of saying that's the vibe here in South Milwaukee. You guys help each other. Oh yeah. So we reached out to the community and the community reached back. We, uh, we do a lot of work with the Besiris Club, Skyline Catering, and uh, uh, Wildflower Bakery, yeah. and Atwood Barbecue. And kind of take care of each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Anybody watching that thinks, I would like something, can they call a custom order? Absolutely. Okay. Order so anything you like. Anything or you like. No, never more than a day away of having anything you might need. That's a pretty good promise. And it's across the street from the Crusher statue. Oh, yes. So <laughs> Make sure to visit when you're in the area. I love it. All right. South Milwaukee Sausage and Meats. Ask for Doc. Thank you for letting us stop Thank by. Thank you. Thank you very much. Toss it back to you guys. So we're spending the day in South Milwaukee, our 58 Hometowns Tour, and it has been a wonderful day in the city. Beautiful outside, but beautiful in here as well. Right now we are at the South Milwaukee Performing Arts Center, and Rachel Sorcy is the executive director here. Thanks for letting us stop by. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about this beautiful facility. We are so fortunate to have this center here in South Milwaukee. Yeah. We're considered a school-affiliated performing arts center, which means we blend public education with private artists and rental events, community outreach events, and it's just a great asset for the community. The space is beautiful, so tell me a little bit about your staff. Absolutely. We're very small, but dedicated, a mighty staff yeah. uh, of a, just a few of us as full-time employees. We also have a number of part-time employees and a great roster of volunteers, ushers, ticket takers, and the like. Yeah, so let us know, of course, it's summer now, but what's been happening here? Yeah, summer we had two youth theater programs okay. where we presented uh, Into the Woods and Disney's Jungle Book. Oh, how neat. Mm -hmm. All right, and then, of course, the upcoming season, we want to show people the... Yeah. the, the, the we have the we List have the, um, ability to curate a season every okay. year. So this is our annual performing arts season for this year. Okay. So we're really excited. Uh, our first event is going to be at the Besiris Center. Um, it's sold out, unfortunately. Okay. So I can't really push that one, but we're excited that so many people got tickets for that. Uh, it's featuring a local group, Four Guys in Dinner Jackets. Neat. Many of your viewers might have seen them before. We've got a John Denver tribute following that and another local artist and educator with good news in November. So I we do it. like to feature local artists. Yeah, and you guys have a wide variety, right, of other things happening Absolutely. too? Absolutely. Yeah. So in addition to this season, you can learn more about it on our website, yeah. South Milwaukee Performing Arts Center. Org. We also work with other renters yeah. and community events. So we'll have a bodybuilding event here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have some opera singers here. A little and bit just of everything. a lot of things happening here yes. at South Milwaukee Performing Arts Center. All right, check them out online. Rachel, thanks for letting us stop by today. Thank you so much. Toss it back to you in studio. For tonight's main event, we have the champion standing at 5 feet 11 inches and weighing in at 260 pounds, the Crusher.
and his challenger standing at five feet five inches tall from parts unknown, Nicole Coughlin. Okay, so we're not really gonna wrestle, but you get the idea. The Crusher was one of the first big personalities in professional wrestling. His career spanned 40 years, and one of his major claims was that he trained with kegs of beer. This statue was dedicated in 2019, a tribute to the Crusher's blue-collar, hard-working hometown. He was billed as the wrestler that made Milwaukee famous, despite the fact that he lived here his entire life. Welcome to South Milwaukee. You know what? I think I could take him. Welcome to the Seven Bridges area of Grant Park. Well, Grant Park um, was the first park established by the Milwaukee County Park Commission. Seven Bridges, where we're standing now, is largely due to the uh, vision and determination of a guy named Frederick C. Wolf. Wolf was hired in 1914 by the Park Commission. There's not seven of them, there's ten of them. Now, I don't know where the name Seven Bridges came from, but there are, in fact, ten and they will eventually take you down to the, the beach. Tens of thousands of visitors come here every, every year. As an asset for South Milwaukee, it, it's great. I mean, and it's truly been woven into the fabric of our community for over 100 years. Welcome to the Bucyrus Museum. The building we're standing in was the first factory opened in South Milwaukee in 1892 as the Schultz Brothers Furniture Factory. The floor we're on, which is the second floor, uh, was valve assembly and piping area. A lot of people know the equipment. It was shipped worldwide. It's done mining worldwide. It's done construction worldwide. We have 26 volunteers that staff. Uh, the museum and we give tours when the guests come in. We had a great day exploring South Milwaukee, a city rich in manufacturing history. For instance, this 10 foot 9 inch shiv was actually made here in the 80s, spent many years in Louisiana and then returned to its hometown when the machine was decommissioned. For CBS 58 Hometowns, that's a wrap from South Milwaukee.